Hi guys, it's Blackie. Today, continuing in the Ground Pounder series, I'd like to talk a little bit about a pack frame that's everywhere that's available and is a really good pack frame. As I've said in the past, I'm not a big fan of the Alice pack, but the Alice pack frame, I am. So let me talk about that a second. Now this is the Alice pack frame, okay? And those of you that have not already, go back and look at my Ground Pounder series. And I have one where I talk exclusively about modifications to an Alice pack. And one of them, I show you how to put this carry handle on here. Okay? So let's talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses of this. One, it doesn't have a carry handle. It makes it easy to grab. This slides over the yoke of the... Uh, medium or the large Alice and there was at one time a small Alice but they were very rare they were only in the very first of Vietnam and they disappeared so 99% of what you're gonna find is gonna be the medium or the large Alice and both of them will fit this frame notice up here you've got the little attachment loops now a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that they are going to take and hook their shoulder strap to that and it will hold for a time but those rivets right there that are holding that in place, I think it's actually tack welded, rivet or tack weld. But in any case, they don't hold up that well. They're going to give. So you want to take the strap and go all the way around the pipe and then come through that to keep it from sliding sideways. So don't hook your strap to this. Hook your strap to this bar and come through that. Otherwise, if you don't do that, just put it on a loop, it wants to slide like this. If you don't, if you just hook to that, you run the risk of picking it up or et cetera, just popping loose if you've got a heavy pack, okay? This top rivet right here can come out, can break, et cetera. The most common places I find in surplus and in usage of breakage is one, that popping loose. How does that pop loose? Usually from being dropped. Now you got to remember the purpose of these Alice pack frames uh, in a military combat type pack was when you were going into combat you dropped your packs. Okay? Literally they would take them off and drop them. A lot of times they were in a hurry and they just dropped them. A lot of times you were you're putting them in the back of a truck gathered up and they're going from A to B while y'all marched and stuff like that. And they would throw them out of the, pack, out of the back of the truck. Just take them and sling them you know, to get them out of the truck now or whatever, or off the tank or whatever. And that's where a lot of these got broken. So you're gonna find a lot of these in surplus. So when you're looking at a surplus frame, be aware that that can be popped loose. It can be even still sitting there under tension because this is kind of bowed under a tension. But look and inspect and make sure that you can't grab and do like that and pull it away. Otherwise, it'll start working loose. Another break point is here on the sides. And what happens is this is where this pack gets thrown. It lands like this, womp, and it's a whole lot of weight. And then all that stress goes to right there. And so these two rivets right there are actually a weak point in the frame. This down here seems to do fairly well. This down here rarely breaks because it's reinforced by the inner bar and that bar. So that's normally okay. And then you got the two slots right here. Slots or you can run straps or the shelf. Now I will show a picture right here in a second of the add-on shelf. That shelf allowed you to take this and use it as a pack board for carrying like a jerry can of fuel or water or something like that. It was a way that one man could carry that easily or stacked up ammo boxes or mortar rounds or whatever it allowed to be used as a pack board but this is not a good pack board because of the way it's curved okay it bows out in the middle and it goes back so anything straight is automatically going to be sticking up to grab or sticking out at the bottom so that if you'll notice that bottom has a lot of loopholes in it where you could stick hook tie whatever and it sits in there by friction. Now, that pops off real easy. As long as you got like a, you know, 50 pounds of a fuel can sitting on top of it, it'll hold pretty well. 
but these hooks into this and that hook on the on the actual shelf can come loose of any kind of jostling, etc. So what a lot of guys did was they didn't go here, because remember there's a rivet right there. They'd go straight underneath it and they'd drill a hole all the way through the shelf into here and they'd put a, uh, a flat bolt with one of those rubber nylon uh, nuts on the back of it to hold it. So if you were going to turn this into a designated pack board, that was a trick to do. And then a lot of them would wrap this with something else, give us something that they could pad against so it didn't rattle or whatever. Okay. Now, the weight belt I've got onto this is a great addition to have because what it does is it allows you to transfer the load. So that while I've got the straps on here, the weight's sitting on my shoulders and the the weight belt is just kind of balancing it. Okay. Should this up here start bothering me, I'm getting tired. I can slack these and allow it fully to sit on this weight belt to therefore hold the weight just on my hips. And it's sitting on my hips then. When that gets tiresome, I tighten the shoulder straps back up. You see, you could alternate, give yourself a little bit of a breathing room, okay? So these work really, really well. But you notice how much slop there is? <laughs> That's just the way this thing works. Even though you can pull this thing down as tight as you want, it's always going to have some degree of slop to it, no matter what you want. And I have seen these guys since these things up blood tight before, and it still would have a little bit of slop to it. Okay, I've just tightened mine up. You see how I made it where it's wider? It narrows down to where it actually goes through. So if there's any kind of slack in it, it makes it a lot more sloppy. But if you'll cinch it up, you'll get less up and down. So that buckle needs to be really tight back there. If it's not, it's not pulling tight enough, okay? The weight belt comes around from the sides. You can put additional things like canteens and stuff like that on it. So. When you're looking for your surplus Alice pack frame, what to look for? Number one, pick the pack up and look at it like this and make sure this isn't twisted one way or the other. Again, they were throwed, remember? And how they landed broke these frames. In the military, you just go to ordnance and get another one. You supply and get another one. So if yours got busted, it didn't make one mission for it come back broke, who cares? You'd get another one. So those ended up on the surplus market. There's a reason they're selling it and it's in surplus, remember. So look at that. You wanna look at it and make sure it's square. You wanna make sure there's no crack along either of these places that this rivet, this rivet, or this rivet is not loose. Now, grab and grab and kind of wiggle and make sure it doesn't go that tells you that hole is wallowed out on the inside. Even though it may seem solid, it's going to pop. Look at it from the side and make sure it's not. Now, mine has got a pretty good ding right there. They both bend a little bit, but mine is not broke. But mine probably had a whole lot of weight shoved down on it like this. Again, they're stacking them up, and you got a pack sitting there like that, and they throw another big, heavy 150-pound pack on top of it. That's the bend point. So, therefore... Make sure these rings have not popped their rivets, okay? Other than that, and then the ends of it are supposed to be plugged. You find out a lot of times these plugs have been removed or they've come out or whatever. So make sure it's not packed full of something or something else or corrosion up in there, okay? Because if those plugs are getting out and water is getting up in there, it can cause corrosion in there. So therefore, not a good idea. Handle. Like I showed in that video, I'll show you how to do it. This is just a piece of bank line and a piece of fuel line is all it is. Works great for a handle. It's doesn't cold to the touch or anything in the dead of winter. Not too hot in the summer. And so therefore you can easily grab it and pick it up. Hang the pack up, etc. Makes for a simple one hand. So, when looking for an Alice pack frame in surplus, those are the points you should check. Now, one other thing I want to point out, and I pointed this out earlier in the video. Notice this gap right here. This area, when you're wearing it, right here to here is the, that yoke of the pack that slides over. This is going to be an open air gap behind you, okay? You can put stuff in here. 
something that fits in there real well is a poncho. Fits in there perfect like that and doesn't interfere with you, doesn't rub your back at all. And so you can roll up a poncho so it easily fits right across here or some other tarp or something like that for quick and easy deploy. By putting it in there with my back right here, it's gonna hold it in place, it ain't gonna work its way out. But at the same time, I can easily reach back there and pull it out while wearing the pack to have my poncho to deploy over me. Keep walking. Whenever the rain is done, be able to stop, shake it out, roll it up, and put it back in place real quick and easy. So that's a great place to put your poncho. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And there'll be more videos coming up in the Ground Pounder series. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.